Hi, this is Ben Ivey, the Fulfillment Artist. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to trust yourself and your decisions. So why is this such an important topic? Well, I've realized that for a lot of people in life, not only do they not really trust other people because bad things have happened and they've decided I can't trust people, but for a lot of people, they've decided that they can't even trust themselves. And this leads to so many different issues where people doubt themselves. You, you know, if you're watching this, maybe you feel that there are some decisions that you wanna make, but you're not really sure if you can do them, and then you keep asking for other people's advice. And then what ends up happening is the decisions that you make uh, from the sort of majority of votes that you get from other people instead of making a decision for yourself. Because the truth is you end up trusting other people's judgments instead of your own. So the question is, like, how do we move, move out of this, and how do we start trusting ourselves and trusting yourself in a way that you can actually start making progress in, in a much, much different way so that you can live an extraordinary life. So I've got four points and I'm gonna run through them with you very quickly. And when you implement them, they're gonna radically change how you th like think about trusting yourself and how you can sort of build a really good foundation to trust yourself moving forward. So the first thing is to commit to start trusting yourself, right? And it's really important, make a commitment, say, okay, you know what? I've clearly not trusted myself previously. I'm gonna commit from now on to start trusting myself in whatever way, shape or form that means to you. Because there may be times where you've screwed up in the past, but you've gotta be able to forgive, let go and say, okay, you know what? Even though I've you know, made mistakes and things like that, that's made me stronger. And now I'm gonna start moving forward and, and starting to trust myself. Now, once you've moved past the first point and you've actually committed, the second thing is to commit to baby steps. Now, trusting yourself is like a muscle. It's gotta be trained. Right? So let's say, for example, you go to the gym, you sort of, I don't know, whether it's your chest, right? You're training your chest and, and you train it constantly. Trust is the same thing, right? And you've gotta be able to trust your decisions. If you can't, like, trust yourself to make a decision on, on what movie to watch or, you know, like, what to cook, something like that, then how are you gonna trust yourself when you make even more important decisions? Does that make sense? Because for a lot of people, they off put actually quality problems in their life, where, which actually means something, because they get scared. So instead they, they put it off, they put it off, they put it off, and deal with other things and sort of distract themselves instead of dealing with the most important things. So commit to having those baby steps and then you've got to be able to look at where those, those baby steps are that you're making and acknowledge where you're trusting yourself more. Next is you've got to ask yourself a weekly question. How have I trusted myself this week? For those of you doing the Ultimate Life Management System or have gone to seminars where I've spoken about weekly evaluations, this is where you would add that question in, okay? So each week, uh, ask yourself that question, right? How have I trusted myself this week? Now, what we're looking for is saying, okay, well, where did I trust myself? And we're focusing on all the little successes. So what's happening is we're programming your brain to look for where you did trust yourself, right? Instead of all the other things like, oh, well, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. Instead, we're focusing on where you did and therefore we're getting progress and you're conditioning your mind to start trusting yourself more. Right? The questions that you ask yourself are so, so, so important. So this is a brilliant one. And if you ask yourself this on a weekly basis for let's say three months, it will radically change how you feel about trusting yourself and all the decisions that you make. But once again, this is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not suddenly gonna change, right? It may if you commit, but the truth is we've gotta keep focusing on it and acknowledging those small successes. Now the last thing is really, really important. Right, because if you don't do this, it's gonna be very, very easy to fall off track. And this affects every single aspect of your life. Being a business owner, being an entrepreneur, whatever it is, this is really, really important. And that is, once a decision is made, to stick to it. Because if you think about leaders, right, they make a decision, they stick to it, and then they tend not to change it very quickly. Right, if they need to, then, then it's done and it's changed but they stick to it. Because what you don't want is someone that goes, oh, let's do this. Actually, we could do this instead, or maybe this, right? Instead, stick to a decision, get it done, and, 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 and then you move on, instead of questioning yourself after, right? If, if you've made a decision, it's done, it, it's made, move forward, trust yourself, and know that that is the right decision for you right now. 
So with that said, uh, there's one other thing that I wanted to say, and that is that if you really want to start trusting yourself, one of the things that you've got to sort of manage is your mind, because your mind is what, what will probably doubt you or play tricks on you, right? And it's not your mind, it's right, the mind, okay? And instead, how do you manage this? Well, meditation's one thing. Uh, another thing is, is just your overall awareness, okay? Being to, able to observe your thinking. And, and meditation is one of the, the best things for this. So with that said, if you're, if you're struggling at all, med meditate for 10 minutes, just watch your mind instead of thinking that that's you thinking. Um, and for those of you who are finding this a, a little bit of a difficult concept, what I'd say is stop thinking for the next 10 seconds. What's probably happening is you're already thinking, right? So it's, it's not you thinking, it's your mind thinking. So it's just something to be aware of, right? So all I can say is that I hope you can start trusting yourself more, uh, stick to the decisions that you make, and have an absolutely phenomenal life. I will speak to you next week.